Hello guys, my name is Josh Titus and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a vlogging channel about exploring and showing different and new interests, going traveling, working on cars, going on hikes, going to festival shows and concerts. I hope this interests you and if so, please consider subscribing and join me on living life to the fullest. Follow me on Instagram at Josh Titus for even more. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another ARG-7 restoration video. My name is Josh Chidas and today I have a good splendid video for you with plenty of good products. Um, so in today's video, I actually have some big interior um, mod mods, upgrades, restoration, all that stuff. Um, wanted to unbox it with you. Here is actually the center shifter order off eBay. Overnight parts, actually, I was two day shipping luckily and it was free shipping for the center console shift the trim thing on my bobber so got that and i guess i'll open it in a bit also got some uh ebay the e-brake and shifter boot in alcantara so i'll be exciting open order a new shift knob from billow works and uh kind of i did a customized um shift uh shift knob so i'll show you that and lastly, got the e-brake handle. Ordered this from Garage Alpha, or let's see, Garage Alpha, Saki Bomb. Saki Bomb purchased, or uh, yeah, purchased them. So now I have the titanium e-brake handle. So uh, it should be a nice upgrade. And in case any of the plastic uh, pieces are messed up in my current car, so I can't install any of these pieces, some good old JB Well to fix that. So we'll see. Also, as you saw at the beginning of the video, I wanted to get a win because last time I ended with a loss with the, the hood cluster, but did get that new uh, license plate from rotary13b.com. So let's get it started. I've been holding these products, been anxious to open it. So let's start off with the first one, which was the shifter as I saw. Let's get some good shots of that. Hope they were knives. Don't get close to your face like I just did. But, uh, bam! Bam! Look at this. Ooh no broken tabs. I hope. Yep, no broken tabs. Nice. Booyah! <laughs> On to the next product. This is the e-brake handle. So let's see how it goes. And bam, cool. And see, it comes with the titanium button as well. And this thing feels super nice. And it's 
vacuum sealed, which is pretty cool. This is very nice. Nice finish, no scratches. Same thing with the button, looks pretty cool. Hope it's not blurry. Well, there you go. Uh, next product is the Billet Works shift knob. <laughs> this is the one I was looking forward to. Boom! Oh, damn. Got it with the Mazda symbol, evil Mazda symbol. Dang, this thing's pretty nice. Feels heavy too. Look at this. Very nice. Nice as weighted. Pretty cool. Also ordered uh, the so you can the boot. Let's see, you see it? there you go. The boot, you know, so it holds the boot in place. So a lot of times you see people put an aftermarket um, a shift knob, and then you see like the the boot kind of just lay down, so you can see the pole in between. So I ordered this. So you can, re you can hold the boot up and keep it in place. So it'll be like this and then the boot is also on. Finally, uh, I ordered the shift boot and for the uh, for the shifter and the boot for the e-brake. So uh, I ordered from this company called LH Wraps and they have, I'm not sure if they have a store, but on eBay, they have a store. Well. Oh, you can see this. Here's the shift boot with the red stitching. Bam. Very nice. And then the e-brake handle, e-brake boot. Let's see if you can see it with the red stitching. Very nice. So let's get these parts installed. First, I need to remove this one, these ones obviously. So at first I start off with the shift uh, knob, which twists off. And then from there, uh, I can pop off the shifter control bezel, the trim, then I can take out the e, uh, the shifter boot and then take off the e-brake boot. Then I can take off uh, this, or I think I had to take off the e-brake handle, then I can take off the boot. Um, then I had to, what I do is I have to staple in the new one and do the same thing with the shift shifter. So let's get it started. So to give you some before shots, this is pretty cracked as you see. The e-brake handle, uh, the handle piece tore. This, the e-brake button is kind of deteriorated. Same thing with the shift knob, the boot. Seen better days, and so yeah, twist this off, pop this off, pop this off, pop this off, pop this off. So as mentioned, I gotta take these out and transfer them over. Oops. Let's do some easy stuff first. Take out this one. Let's see what I can do. These staples didn't go through. Should be able to get them from the top. Hopefully not cut myself. Yeah, memories. <laughs> so you don't want to see the stitching. So this will go towards the, the front of the car. So like, so when you're shifting gears, 
you don't see it. Looks nice. Bam. Looks good. Now, just gotta staple these in here. All right. Pitter patter. Bam. Money. Easy. Oh, well, that one didn't go to the plastic. <laughs> nice. So just for purposes. Bam. That's good. Staple it in each side. Um, yeah, and I wanted, you know, this goes towards the front, so I don't want to see that stitching, but I do want to see this stitching. So this will be, I'll pull the e brake, be right. Preview. Huh. Supposed to fit over. So the other is gonna fit over. I probably have too much of crap over. So it looks like it will fit. I uh, did get it a little bit in, pulled it back out. So the trick is, first clean this up as much as possible. Put on the e-brake boot, which will connect to here. Um, then lubricate this. Actually, change the button. Don't let the rod fall in, because it will. Uh, put in the new button. And then lubricate this and in here and then push it down as much as possible and then you have to hammer it in so make sure it's protected hammer it in and then get to a certain point where your button starts being exposed hammer you know put the more protection over on top and then hammer that in all the way down and that should be good and it looks like a bee right here
All right, it's gonna get weird. This wrestling on the shaft. Make sure nice and lubricated. Things will go smoothly. All right. Now, this is when it gets Ooh, even more interesting. Gotta get this here hammer. I'm gonna have to pound the shaft down. All right, so this hammer right here, and this cover right here, just like, sorry. Okay, it's going down, no problems. Wish I could hit something flat instead. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything. So, let's just add more pressure. Right. It's gonna get harder and harder. Makes me nervous. It is working. Just making me nervous. Alright, I got this piece of wood from my friend. So I'm just gonna put this in here. And now, now it's not gonna be so. I really put the pressure be more displaced. More spread out. Oh, I probably messed up. <laughs> I should have quit when I had a chance because now the button won't even go in. It's just already it's like forever pushed it's like pushed in right now. The e brick handle won't go down. What I think I messed up as I read the instruction wrong. And the the button I taped over the button so it doesn't um it scratched from what I thought I read, but I read it wrong. I should have, um, I was supposed to tape over here, which I kind of did, or I protected over here. Um, when I get down to the button, I was supposed to tape the button kind of like this to the top of this part. Not tape the button itself, but like how I did, I wrapped the button so it doesn't get hit. But now I think the tape that I wrapped it around is keeping it inside from coming out. But also, it doesn't look like the e-brake's all the way down. The e-brake handle's all the way down. So either I'm not hitting hard enough or what, but it just seems like I messed up. I don't know. I think I just have to go further. Maybe lube this up a little bit more. Right now it's kind of dry. And then, uh, just keep hammering. Probably have to continue tomorrow. But yeah, feeling defeated. A little bit more. 